and welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CBQ. Even though it's really more of a rectangle if you look at it, I mean. It's kind of kind of like a long cube. Like a stretchy cube. Like a prism. Yeah, like a prism. Carlin Brothers Prism Breakers. It's less good. Yeah. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. As ever, it is now time for the Wheel of Energy. Right, what do you anything got? but metal, I guess. Anything but metal. We got some salad energy on the plate today. All right. Get those vegetables ready. What do we got for some randomly chosen common chase cards? Well, we've got Caterpie, Eevee, and Golbat. Okay. Yeah, okay. so Caterpie's actually going to be a pretty good one because that's a, a grass one, so it's going to be worth the double. Dublin. So uh, let's get things kicked off with our first contestant of the day, Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina. Also, I suppose before we answer, or before we begin, we should uh, mention who is presently in the lead. It is Becky Borst with 40. Four points, followed by Andy at 38 and Megan K in 30th. Down in eighth place, this collared cow 41. And where is Big Steve right now? Big Steve. He's in fifth. He's in fifth. So the big thing mm. we've been hoping for is a world where Big Steve gets knocked down to number nine. So yes. that whoever ends up in that eighth position ends up uh, being the. The, the champion of two different titles two, at once. Yes, the double champion. The, the, the beloved thing that could happen that hasn't happened yet. Indeed. Okay. All right, first up, Wilhelmina, coming into the season off of a 20-point performance, last go-round. So not bad, not bad. Not of course, too bad. we are in the Pokemon 151 sector, where we will only be getting um, one pack for the whole season. That's so right. Just a, just a quick little season here. So we got the, score. Yep, the Oddish will score, the Meowth, the Execute Execute will score, score, the Clefairy, the Cycling the Road, the Scyther, Scyther will score, score, the Charmeleon, the Slowpoke will not score, the Ivysaur will score, and the, the Starmie Star will so score. So much salad in this one. So much salad, Only man. Only gonna get them to five points though, I'm afraid. A hard fought five indeed, yeah. but uh, definitely a great showing for salad uh, early on in the episode. So hopefully go. that means that we're gonna see a higher average score than we've seen so far. Well done to Wilhelmina to kick things off. Next up, we've got John Smith of uh, Jamestown, Virginia fame. Wow. I believe. Very impressive it's that you've made it. It's not a very common name, so it's probably him. It's probably, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> In Frozen, there's Easy a scene where it's like, what's his best friend's name? Probably John. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go, that's a point. We got a point right there for our uh, holographic metal energy. Then we got Porygon, Electabuzz, Rhyhorn, Tangle will score, Tentacruel will not, War Turtle Pikachu, Charmeleon will not, and oh, oh! boom! Look at that! It's a full art Venusaur. You love to see it. We'll get the extra single point as well because it is salad type. Good save, good save. Glad you thought of it. Nine dollars and twenty cents there for Man, the Venusaur so 10, EX. 11, 12, 13 points. Very for impressive, John Smith. Well done. You love to see that um, Venusaur action. Anytime you get a starter. Fully evolved Gen One. That's a good day. That's a good day. That's a good day. That's a good day. You really just can't go wrong with that. So uh, amazing card. Uh, and I don't know that we. I don't know that we've actually on camera pulled a big Venusaur yet. I don't think we have. You're yeah, right. So You're right. There we go. But now we have. All right. Next up, we've got uh, Crafty Chick. Crafty Chick. All right, Crafty Chick. Let's see what's on the table for you today. Makes and sells leather and wood earrings. Well, my goodness. Wow. Let me tell you skills I don't have. 
Making leather. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so that's oh, a point as man, well. Oh, man, right there. Holographic energy back to back. Yep, that's right. So we got the Jigglypuff, the Staryu, the Charmander, the Spearow, the Gloom, Gloom the Score, the Clefable, the Dug Trio, the Cloyster will not, the Drowsy will not. Oh, look oh, at the Blastoise. Look at that back to back. Are we seeing the Charizard in the next pack? Is goodness, that what I'm seeing? Goodness gracious. Our second one of the season comes in just a little bit underneath the Venusaur there at $6.90, so seven points. Seven, eight, nine points on the pack. So probably not a podium position right there, but Either way, you got the Blastoise. That's a That's great, exciting. A great pull. Super exciting. I mean, I feel like the whole, the whole like theme of this 151 set. I mean, it's really getting those those starter mons. So right. That's a great pull, and congratulations on the Blastoise. Well, well done indeed. All right, can I pick the Charizard out of it? Do it. Do it. Ooh. Here we go. And who, uh, who's apparently getting it? A Town. A Town. A Town. I'm just as good as J Town. Hey, yeah. I got you there. That's a good one. That's yeah. a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ba -ba 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 bam here we go. Let's see the big Zard. Let's see it. Oh my gosh, what are the freaking odds here? Oh, that's a that's point right be there. A point right there. Seal, Doduo, Tentacle, Rattata, Cloyster, so much water in this one. Ride on the, the Parasite, Parasite will score, score the, the Bell Sprout and the, the Beedrill. Wow, so that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five points. Man, for A Town. So sorry, not a Charizard, but. So kind of a fun back. Hey, you would have caught it like just outside of Pallet Town, probably. Probably. Or probably you know, not even a bee drill, but like you a know, weedle. A weedle you know, or a kakana. You know. If you're one of those. If you're one of those, yeah, I caught it and didn't have tackle or poison, so you just had to use harden over and over. My goodness. Anyway, next up we've got Tyler Gillies. Tyler Gillies. Tyler Gillies has had some good seasons in the past. Back in season five, had 57 points. How are they doing in the last uh, single card season? Last single card season, they had 23 points. So okay, yeah, so they did pretty good. Maybe this oh is- Oh my gosh! What is going on? Everyone is getting the holographic energy. These these are not that common. Like, yeah. I mean, they're, they're, they're like somewhat <laughs> common, but like not at the rate that we're not going Not four in a right row. We got the Coughing, the Psyduck, the Ekans, the Cubone, the Slowbro, the Machoke, the Dugong, the Venomoth, Venomoth will score, the Grimer will not, and the Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl will. So it's just going to be a three point pack when all is said and done. But you get that epic Aerodactyl. Love yeah. the art on that one. Aerodactyl, AKA Ron Perlman. Ron Perlman, uh, yeah, yes. I just, I, it's all I can see now when I look at it. But I will say that that Aerodactyl is one of my favorite cards from this whole set. So congratulations on that one. Ron Perldactyl. Here we go. Next up is Heartbeat. Boom, boom. Wow, you did the same thing. I'm yeah, so glad. Yeah. We I, bet we've, I bet we've done it every that. time we've opened for Heartbeat. We probably so far. have. Grabbing from the middle there. Let's see what Heartbeat can tune in here. Has been a previous last place contender, it looks like. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see if maybe they can pull a single, but it's gonna be hard with the salad energy being the, the type advantage today. Yeah, they've been showing oh, up there. Oh, there it is. Uh, yeah, as I said, it's so hard to get a pack Scyther. without any grass Pokemon. The Parasect, the, Parasec, the, the Butterfree, butter the Pidgeotto does not score, and the Kabutops will. So, so wow. another five point pack, I think. Uh, yeah, gosh, the grass Pokemon are just Everywhere. They really are. It's a very, it's a, it's a grassy <coughs> field out there for us. It's a grass heavy generation, you know? All right, next up, we have got Jessica Mullins. All right, J Mulls. J Mull here. We got, uh, where are we coming off of? An 11 point season? They're still sort of waiting for that big season to happen, so maybe this one will be it. This could be the moment. All right, so we've got the Teardrop this is Energy. The, moment. the Goldene, the Nidoran, the Ghastly, the, the Paris Score, the Tentacruel, the Snorlax, the Sandslash, the Dugong, the Meowth will not, and, and the, the Gyarados. Oh, sadly, just a two point season. Jessica Mullins continues to wait for her big break. You gotta feel like it's coming any, it's any, coming. any pack now. You know, right? just, just hold on. Oh, here we go. Jazzy J Truther. Wow. A real crowd favorite. Some would say the, the most beloved fa the competitor out there. Well, I don't know about you know, all that. I don't, I don't know about all I've that. I've been hearing you rumors I mean, around yeah, the water yeah. cooler. I mean, that, they did have a pretty strong season last season, pulling four points, six points, and 14 points. Those are all pretty solid days. So I'll, I'll oh hand that to you. Oh my gosh. Man. What is happening? This is crazy. All right. I will take it. That's an extra point there. Gasly, the Paris yes. is Everywhere. I mean, really what is this? Have we been looking on the on the look for our, I don't our think Caterpie, we, Eevee, and Golbat? I don't think we've had any of them somehow. Okay. okay. Yeah. Dugong, Hitmonchan, Sea King. This card's actually low-key super good. 
Uh, Charmander, the Dragonite will score, as will the Machamp. So uh, coming in from a few angles there, gonna get four points on the pack. Kabam. Okay. Kabam, here we go. Kabam, kablow. Kablam, kablow. Well done, Jazzy J at Truther. Next up, oh boy, can we break the curse of the mods? It's Mots. It's Mots, who actually did have a great season last season. I think they did, with 29, 29 So yeah. maybe, uh, let's see if we can continue the trend. Maybe Mots has broken away from the rest of the field. And jeez, I feel like we got like a broken box or a god box or something inside of one of these because something is going on. To that end, there are god packs out there. God packs. God okay. packs for this set where what basically you get is the Ill it's not like every single card is rare. That is a thing that happens in Japan, but it is a uh, pack that will have the illustrator rare version of an entire s one of the starters. So you'll get Squirtle, War Turtle, Blastoise, or Charmander, Charmillion, Charizard, or Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur. You can get a pack that has all three. That has all three wow. illustrator rares in it. So that's like the god pack you're looking for. They're <laughs> apparently like extremely rare, so it'd be awesome if we get one, but but we'll see. Not holding our breath. There we go. With Growlithe, the Geodude, the Jigglypuff, the Staryu, the Golduck, the Pinsir will we score. Go. The Bills transfer. The Hypno won't score. The Tentacruel won't score. Oh, but oh, the Wiggly Tough EX will. Big wig. And there we go. Number 187 on the set. I believe it's our second one we've had I so think it far. is. I think we've seen this guy before. Let's see. Number 187. $4.95. So not a lot of rounding, but still five points. So, so six, seven five, on the pack. Six, seven on the pack. There we go. Well done. Who was well that? Done. That was from Moss. That was from Moss. Well done, doing pretty good here lately. Seems yeah. to have uh, found his groove. And he got the holographic energy. The so. holo energy and the wiggly top. So Moss, well done. Well I feel done. like you're really starting to, to show for team. Team mods. All right, here we go. Next up is Dalton Green, hated rival of Blue Swede. Ooh, apparently yeah. it's about to go down. It's about to go down. Oh, green and blue. That yeah, must be, that must the, be reason. the reason. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Although Dalton Green is actually on the blue team. Oh, well, how about that? Well, team, water, team water. Team know, water. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, no holographic energy. The Eevee, though, there it is at long last. There we go. The Weedle will score. The Zubat will not. The Nidorina, the Raticate, Invitation, Horsey, Diglett, and the yeah, Gengar. Gengar. So, just a three point pack when all is said and done for Dalton Green. I can't remember what Blue Swede did. I know, yeah, let's see if we can, can spot them it. on a quick mm -hmm. glance here on the old scoreboard. Mm -hmm. uh, the Blue Swede at number 18 with 10 points. Oh, Blue Swede takes this round, I'm afraid. Sorry, Dalton. Oh. Uh, but you do get that Gengar there. The whole the whole uh, Gengar evolution line, I think, is really cool. Yeah, very fun um, artwork. Yeah, they, it, like, it like matches with all three of them, so. All right, next up we've got Jupiter Fox. Jupiter Fox. Jupiter Fox. Can we get a, a Nine Tails in here, perhaps? Oh. Yeah, a little, little, little fox little action. Fox action. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, there's the Vulpix. Right. There we go. Yep, yep, you're right. So we got the uh, got the eyeball, and there's you got the Vulpix, the Magnemite, oh, the, the Caterpie, Caterpie and was, the Eevee. And the Eevee, and the Caterpie will score so twice. twice. Yep. Yeah. Hitmonchan, the Sea King, the Butterfree will score, the Magnemite, the oh. Magneton. Oh, wait, critical hit! On hey, the critical hit! There we go. Okay. Okay. This is a cool pack. This is a cool pack. Oh, and, and the Sam! Oh my gosh, so, so much to consider here. Let's see, number 188 on the set. Have we say, I love this Alakazam card. All the full arts in this set look really good. They are super, super sharp. Yeah, mm -hmm. I feel like they framed everybody like really nicely in this in this go round. That's eleven dollars thirty one cents. So twelve so points. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 times two is going to be a thirty two point pack. Wow, that's wow. going to take over third place, I believe, for us. Yeah, third place. Megan K will get bumped down to fourth, which means Big Steve is now in sixth. Wow. Overall. So oh boy, it's happening. It's we're, happening. We're getting closer. We are getting closer and closer. Man, I love that Zam. Very impressive Super pack. Who is this for? For Jupiter Fox. For Jupiter well done Fox. to them. That's Man, impressive. Jupiter Fox has had some other good seasons. Back in Crown Zenith, they had a 37 point pack. So they, they're, uh, they're, they're a single. All about these. Uh, the single pack seasons there. Yep. All right, next up is Chrysara. Who is a black belt? So I'm expecting raucous pummeling here. No, nope. oh, yeah, obviously. It, it basically, can't be anything else. Can't be anything speaking. else. Yeah. Here we go. Kabam! Oh uh, man. Sometimes. From sometimes the sweat, you call probably. it. Yeah. Atkins, the Cubone, the Hypno, the Polyrath, the Pidgeot, the Nidorina, the Bee Drill gets two points, and the Weezing. So it's a three-point three. pack. Just a three-point pack. You know, it's funny that they made Bee Drill um, a rare and Butterfree not. It is. It's, it's like, a, oh, we see. It's we like, see. okay, okay. But I feel like Butterfree was a hollow in the in the base set or jungle, maybe. 
Was it? Do you remember? I feel like there was a Butterfree that was hollow. Mm, or am I, I just remembering it wrong? I think you're maybe remembering it wrong. I don't think there is. But uh, I have to look now. I have okay. To look. All I right. Just, I want to see. Hold, please. Face set Butterfree. While he does that, I'm going to change the skateboards. Oh, no. Okay, that's the Butterfree. That's what the Butterfree looks like. Oh, the man. original Butterfree. The phone on the overhead camera actually looks like pretty, pretty sharp. Solid. Pretty solid. Yeah, what do you know? Yeah, pretty thought. All right. Anyway, next up we have mm bug. Mm bug. Hey, speaking of bugs, bugs. Hey, butterfree. Maybe we'll, get a, maybe we'll get a butterfree in this pack. That'd or, be great. Or a scyther. Or a scyther. The best bug Pokemon there is. Everyone knows it. Shabam! Dark teardrop. Here we go. We've got the Golding, the Weeping Bell, will score. Ghastly Paris again. Magneton, Nidoqueen, Queen, Victory, Victory Bell is out. The Gold oh, Switch! There we go! Booyah! And the Starmie, you love to see it. You do. That's our second Gold Switch of the season, if I You're do. right, it is. So number 206 on the set, $8.29, around up to 9 so 10 11 12 13 13 points on the season That's for M. Bug with the Gold Switch, which is a card you can use for the rest of time. Basically. One of, most, one of the most playable cards. One of the most playable cards, yeah. There you go. I think this is honestly the third one we've opened in total, like including our own personal uh, packs as well. So maybe this one's a little more attainable, which is nice. That is nice. Get a nice play set or something. All right, next up we have Sierra Cawthorn. So kind of, uh, not, <clears throat> not quite rookie status, um, but, but took a little bit of time off here, so we got a <coughs> card for you. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what do we got? What do we got? Got the fireball energy fireball off the energy. top there. The oh, Eevee will score. score. The Grimer, the Weedle, Weedle will score. The Zubat, the Grapple, or the Protective Goggles. Arcanine, Squirtle will not. Jigglypuff will not. And Mewtwo. Mewtwo. Will. Well, I mean the so Mewtwo. One, two, is just three. Cool, that is a really cool Mewtwo. I'm so. Is there a is there a really cool Mewtwo from this set? Gosh, I don't think there is. There's a really cool Mew. Okay. Which, but that might even just be in the Ultra Premium collection. That feels like an oversight to me. Somehow. It does. Like, How like, can Mewtwo not have like a cool card? I don't know. Yeah, I mean it's it's a cool hollow. It's just like it is, there's not yeah. like a full art or like it's, an alter illustrator. They love to go hard on Mewtwo and Pikachu and Charizard whenever they can, so it's surprising. Unless I'm just not correct about it, which is also possible. It's always possible. All right, next up we've got Lauren. Who? Let's see how we're gonna go here. We have so many Laurens on the show. Oh, oh we got there the we go. Multiplier. Here we go. We got the Vulpix, the Magnemite, the Caterpie will score twice. twice. So oh, actually, God. this four. is a weird one. Yeah, and the Eevee, Eevee. will score. Oh, man. Omanite, Tauros, Kadabra. Oh, oh my god! It's gosh. a critical hit on the Eevee! What? Oh wow, this is so weird. It's a e it's a critical hit on the common chase card. With the type advantage. With the type so advantage. So we're already at we're at four times. Okay, so we're gonna have to make sure we do the math correctly here. So this would be so. one, two, three, four, five. Times two. Times two is ten, times two is twenty. Yes, yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, times two for the critical hit. Is 10. ten times two, twenty. Okay, twenty point pack. Wow, what a what a interesting one. That is here we go. So fast. Doesn't mess up with Steven. It ties. It with ties Steven. Oh, uh. so now there's a value problem. Let's see. This one's going to be lower value, almost certainly, because Steven had the Charmeleon. Yeah, so, so I think his Steven, Steven is ahead. Steven is ahead. So yeah. this this yeah does not affect it. It does not affect it. You're right. Nope. You're right. But this person currently, um, Lauren, does does find actually interestingly. Otherwise, following Big Steve, the next person on the scoreboard is another Lauren oh. with 19 points. So this person will sandwich between Big Steve and another Lauren. And as we slide <laughs> down the scale, that actually means there's a decent chance that this Lauren will edge out another Lauren for quality eighth place. That's crazy. Possibly. Man. Man, what a fun pack. That's the second. It's so fun when you get the double multiplier situation going on. Can you imagine if that had been a holographic grass energy? Whew, we could have had that a eight times, eight multiplier. times multiplier. That's won the game before. So very close to happening. Oh, but, here we go. We got another mod uh, oh, on mod deck. Mod on board. It's Dakota. Is it me? You are. I don't know. Who did the critical hit just now? You. Okay, baby. <laughs> You'd think we'd have a better memory for two seconds ago. That's a code card. Oh, oh my gosh! There, there we go. go. Oh my! God, I thought it was gonna be the grass energy for Dakota. That would have been amazing. The Voltorb, the Krabby, the Sandrew, the Seal, Big Air Balloon, Primeape. Oh my gosh! Zero. Eggs. I thought she was gonna dodge all of the grass for the first time today, but nope. No. Nope. Three points for Dakota. 
<coughs> mod curse continues, except for mods. Except for mods, but congratulations on the uh, on that hollow uh, fireball yeah. interview for you there. So a little bit of, a little bit of bling for your deck. Yeah, it is. But bam. All right, next up we have got brawn. Brawn. Let's right, see. Brawn. Now brawn came out of season five with forty one points. Forty of those points came in one pack. So let's see. Um, if they can pull that off again, actually they would not be in first, but they'd be really close. They'd be really close. Oh, we oh, got the, we got we the got multiplier, the... so we're on our way. On can our we way. get a critical hit again? We got the Ekans, the Vulpix, the Magnemite, the, the Caterpie, Caterpie is the back. Radon, the Executor, the Rigid Band, the Star U, the, the Metapod, Metapod, and the Chaos God. God! Okay, there okay. we go. So, so it's gonna be let's see if that... one, two, three, four. Well, let's just go to the King's Con. The King's Con is two points at dollar so, ten. Okay, so two, three, four, five, six. Times two is 12. 12. 12. Man. Okay, there you go. Man, there we'll it is. We'll sleeve up that Kangaskhan for you, which at one point in time we thought was the lowest value EX, but it is in fact not the lowest value EX. You no. can take solace in that. Boom. Go, King's Con headed your way. As a reminder, I know sometimes we occasionally get the question uh, as <coughs> to how this works. People actually do receive these cards. We're not just opening them like on their behalf. Like these cards do belong they, they, yeah. to the patrons. They we will mail them every single week out to the people who have won or who have who have purchased them. So if you would like to sign up, you can do so at patreon.com slash supercon gaming. Select any of the box breakers tiers. Oh man, Ben. This is a pack, all right, because this is Beck Squad. Ooh. Here we go. Now, as we all know, Beck Squad and Becky Borst, Borst are just in a heated rivalry. Heated. Heated. Um, last season, I, I want to say Beck Squad came out on top, but right now, Becky Borst is in first place overall. So this pack holds a lot of gameplay. It does, it does. The rivalry it's continues. It's what? Fierce. It's Oh, old. okay, right not a bad game. Okay, she came to fight, I guess. Yep, we'll see, we'll all see. Right, the Psyduck. The Ekans, the Cubo, the Vulpix, the Leftovers, so far looking Jolteon. a little sparse. Jolteon does score, Hitmonlee does not. Oh, the, and the Bloom. Bloom. Oh man, so it looks like Becky Borst is gonna take this round. That's one, two, three, four points for Beck Squad. Man. Well, the Battle of the Beckys goes down again. There you go, but we do, what we do still, of course, again, you got that, that really cool, pretty, uh, rocks Rock tumbling energy, energy headed your way. So there's there is that. Better than nothing. Better than nothing. All right. Next up, we've got Brick Frog. Brick Frog. <coughs> frog made of bricks. Frog made of bricks. Addy just learned the word frog the other day. Oh, nice. And yeah, so she's been she's been all about it. Actually, frog and octopus. Oh, Luke has a paper frog that like you flick the back and it's supposed to hop. And I was hopping and he said, "Did you make it jump?" And I was like. Yeah, and he's like, no, you're not supposed to do that. That's my fly protector. It just stops flies from getting eaten. And I'm like, I think you have a misunderstanding of everything about frogs. <laughs> First of all, they do jump and they eat flies, so. Mm, there you go. You don't want to protect yourself from flies. You want them to be everywhere. All right, so we have the Porygon, the Electabuzz, the Rhyhorn, the Tanglia, Tangela will score, the Kadabra, the Ivysaur will score, the Parasect will, will score. score. Oh, the Caterpie! Is it the right one? The it, it is the is, right one. It is the right one. So this will count as the chase card as well. God, that's a glorious that is card. That is such fun. Okay, so let's see here. So we gotta make sure we add the, uh, actually, extra, add two points? Two right? points for both type advantage and, and chase, card. Ch chase card. Yeah, okay. yep, and so. it's rare value now. Yes, on top of that. Wow, so, the Caterpie putting in work today. Pretty solid Caterpie too, as far as rare cards are concerned. Yeah. It's gonna come in at six dollars six cents. So seven, mm -hmm. eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13. 13, 13 man! 13 point pack for Brick Frog. Very impressive, Brick Frog. Very impressive. Let me grab you a sleeve there. I got it. You got it? Okay, there you go. These yours are all your run dry. And this Caterpie's awesome. Just wanna say these sleeves that we have for this set are just truly gorgeous, so. All right, next up, Ben, it is your possible sister-in-law, Sammy. The one, the only. It'd be so funny if she actually signed up at some point. It would be extremely funny. God, it really would be, I mean, Big Steve, of course, you know, is grandfathered into the game uh, as the co-creator of it originally over lunch one day in Burgers, but um, it would be so fun to have somebody we know be a part of it. The Weedle will score. I know, the Weedle will score, the Zubat will not, the Golden Rot, Ivysaur, Slowbro, Machoke, Porygon. Psyduck and oh, the, the Mew. Mew! Wow, there you go. Pretty solid pull. Very, Very solid. competitive card at the very least. Let's see, number 151, as is fitting for a Mew, is going to be worth $16.63 of wow. 17. 18, 19 overall. Wow. Great. Oh my gosh, and ties with another Lauren, but does not disrupt our Big Steve position, unfortunately. Man, but is going to be in that like sort of eighth place contention zone now for at least the time being. You're absolutely correct. All right, so well done, possible sister in law Sammy, and congratulations. 
congratulations on that beautiful Mew card there. Nicely done. They headed your way. I'm basically gonna put that in any deck too. If you're so inclined. Next up, we have got Ryan! Ryan! Am I up? Yeah, you're up. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, Ryan. Coming out, okay, so the past two seasons I've gone 12, 13, so maybe a 14 point pack here. Let's see, let's see what we got. And all right, psychic. We haven't had the holographic grass for all of the holographic energies we've had. So I know far. it's true. So we got the Charmander, the Spearow, the Bell Sprout, the Score, the Magic Card, the Gold Gold Bat. Is that our first, first one? one. Yeah. yeah. The leftovers. That's my daughter Addison's favorite card. The Persian, the Vile Plume the will score twice. Points. The Gloom <laughs> will score, and the, the Moltres. All right. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six points. Wow. There Very impressive. Go. Cobbled five. it together. Making something out of nothing there for sure. So well done. Enjoy that Moltres. Slam. All right. Next up, we have got Kura Drawing Hearts. I have to draw another heart on the on the. As is the custom. As is the custom here. Whoop. There we go. All right. And they are coming off a twelve point season. Oh, they have a a blonde Bertha like birthmark like Anna from Frozen. I'm sure I've said that before. Yeah. Yeah. My college roommate also had one of those. That's right, cool. Right there. A raucous bubbling energy, tentacle, rattata, squirtle, onyx, dragonair, cedra. The Nitto Queen will not score. The Flareon will, and the Vaporeon will. A little bit of Thanks an evolution pack. First pack without a grass Pokemon in it. So two points. The closest we've come to getting a last place contender today. I know, yeah, today has not been a game for last place. But you not. know what? I am certainly here for it. I feel like we've had some cool pulls so far. I know, if you're sitting in last place right now, you just gotta be like, yes, so happy with this, this grass is, This energy. is totally fine by me. This is fantastic. Just as a quick update on that front, just as long as we're talking about it, Narwhal King is currently in last place. Right. I'm pretty sure last episode, nobody could take over last place because right. The, is it Mr. Mime? It's Mr. Mime, And yeah. the eyeball energy was the type advantage. So no matter what, Mr. Mime would have got you two points. But today, if all you pull is a Mr. Mime, then you're in good shape, so. It's gonna be pretty high. There we go, we got the raucous pummeling energy, we got the horsey, the abra, the diglet, the bulbous. Bulbous. Oh, there's the butterfree. Butter See yep. how similar it is? It is very similar, yeah. you're right. Yeah, we got the Lapras, the cycling road, the Persian will not score, the look tongue will not oh, wait, score. Oh, tongue No. And the Mew, Mew again! How about that? Wow. So 151. I, I, Double check for safety, but I'm pretty sure 16, 63, so 17. 7, 18, 19. Oh my gosh, we keep hitting that barrier, which is hilarious because Big Steve is at 20 points. That is crazy. Yeah, let's, let's leave up that oh, Mew yes, for leave them. the Mew. Enjoy the Mew, that's Enjoy. a beaut. Right? Here we go. Next up, we have got Matthias. Matthias. Matthias, who has put in uh, just a, a, a veritable scatter plot of point over the over the seasons here. Looks like season Six. five was really the, the peak season with 36 points overall, which incidentally is my favorite number. So well go. done on that front. Let's see, can we get it? There's okay. a double, all right. Okay, so double. let's keep it's a good that starting in mind. point. Charmander, Spiro, Rhyhorn, Magikarp, the, the Grabber, grabber is our first, first two. two. Yeah. You're right. Energy sticker, the gold. Okay, no, nothing crazy. And the Mew! What is what going is happening on? With the Mew? It's the third one! And this is gonna be the third time that it lands us at 19 points again. But this time it's times two. <gasps> oh, you're right! Yeah. Okay, so it's 17, right? 17, okay. 18. I'm, I mean, I, I feel uh, like just I, double I, check. I, yeah. I keep looking at right. it, but I don't want to get it wrong. So, especially with the double. So, yeah, yeah. so these 16, 63, so 17 points, two for the grabber. Yeah, 18, 19 times two is gonna be 38! 38, 38 which points! Ties with, them in second place! With Andy, oh my gosh, and that moves Big Steve down yet another notch into seventh place. Wow! We're All getting right. closer! It's happening! It's happening! Let's uh, sleeve up our third Mew of the day. Meanwhile, Steven is absolutely infuriated with us that we keep rooting for him to drop I past know. a place <laughs> where he would win himself in ET. No. Me, so. I know Steven is actually like on his way here as we speak with like our our premium collection boxes Which is exciting. It is exciting. Which have Mews in them <laughs> It's been a very mute uh, a mutiful day as you will. It has that, been. That could be the that could be the name of the episode. Mutiful. A mutiful Mew day. three. Yeah, Mew three. Yeah, there you go. All right next up is Alyssa. Can we make it four? Why not? Why not? Who's to say? Um, this is coming off of a 10 point season. Man, someone's gotta crack 44 points. It feels so doable. Can't have the Oddish will score, the Mankey, the Meowth, the Execute, execute. Riding on Executor, 
Staryu does not, Nidorina does not, and Dodrio. Man, I felt like we were dancing around a critical hit there. Just gonna be four points on the pack there for Alyssa. That's right, yes, yeah, so number 85 on the set. So Dodrio is actually a really interesting one because uh, it is the next closest card after the grabber to being um, a just standard rare card that was actually worth two points because it comes in at 92 cents Man. for that Dodrio. So I don't know how people are using it, but it must be... It's in Zoroark V-Star. Okay. Because okay. The, its effect is that you can put a damage counter on it once per turn to draw a card. So the drawing a card is great, but then Zoroark does 50 more damage per damaged Pokemon on the bench. Okay. So you can put a damage on it, draw a card, and do more damage. There you go. Okay, okay so that's, that's the explanation yep. there. Um, okay, so let's see here. So now we've got Faith. Faith. Um, let's see what we can do for, for Faith today. Faith, a relatively new player, just our third season in the game here. Okay, well, thank you for your support over on Patreon. Uh, this Damn obviously is a fully Patreon-funded show, so I just want to thank you guys for that support. Um, so we got the, the Eyeball Energy, the Squirtle, the Lickitung, the Venonat Venonat Score, the Pidgey, the Rigid Band, the Nidorina, the Exeggutor. I can never say that. Yeah, Exeggutor. It's like exec. Executor. Yeah. yeah. Okay, like, I gotcha. Like uh, executor. Executor. Uh, we got the Venomoth, which will score. The Lickitung's a critical hit. Lickitung's a critical hit. Good save on, good catch on that. And then Machamp will score. So we'll so, have one, two, three, four times two is eight. Eight points. There we go. Nicely done. Nicely done to Faith. Man, I'm so I kept thinking that there was a critical hit Lickitung earlier, so it's funny that it just happened. I, I was literally just thinking the exact same thing. I'm like, you got, you got like eyes for Lickitung today, like. Lickitung's one of just the most forgettable Pokemon from Gen 1. Do you find that to be the case? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. It's just like, it's so hard. You can't catch it in the wild. I don't think, I think one trainer has it and they're like in a really obscure location. You have to like trade for it and it's like a weird Pokemon you have to trade for it. I don't know. Anyway, that's the whole story. Next, there we go. Rock is pummeling. Yep, that'll score a point right off the top. The fairy, the fairy, the Machop, the, Machop, the Porygon, the Electabuzz, the Graveler, Protective Goggles, Arcanine, Squirtle, Tentacruel does not score. Oh, oh my oh. gosh, it's our fourth Mew of the day! Goodness. That is crazy. This one's going to be worth even more, though, as it is the full art version. It is glorious. I love that pink. It is our first first one of those, at least as far as I've gotten my data here. $25, $0.06, and uh, 26 27 27 point pack. Let's get a bump Steve into eighth, eighth place. place. Uh-oh. How about that? Now, wow. now is the point where Big Steve is like, Everybody hold. Everybody hold. Freeze. Can he survive an entire, I mean, there's the rest of this episode plus an entire another box to go. So it's going to be pretty tricky, um, especially if we keep pulling Mews like this. I, I know. Mean, I don't geez. know what is going on. Plus Mew on the day. That's insanity. That's just insanity. All right. Let's see if Xander, Xander. can keep it up. All right, uh, they're coming off of a 20 point season, so pretty solid. They've only ever done better every single season. They've gone from two to 11 to 20. Okay. So, and 20 is the number to beat. 20 is the number, 20 to, is beat. The number to beat. Yeah. So this can, Xander, can you do it? Continue the trend if I can even open your, what is happening on this pack? So much suspense is building. I know. It's like a, uh, oh, <laughs> okay. it's a multiplier. Let's see. And we got the Metapod. The Ponyta, the Poliwag, the Pikachu, the Graveler, the Arcanine. Nothing so far. The Venom and the, the Chansey. Chansey. Wow, so, so just, just a six, six point pack. pack after all the build up. Man. Man. Xander. Sorry, the anticipation was real. That was pretty cool looking Chansey though. It so. was good. Yeah. Yeah. Very fun. All right, next up. Oh, it's another mod. It's Data Rage. Data Rage. Of Lugia V fame. That's right, we yeah. Data Rage has also uh, gone through some of our past episodes and has very generously put together who is a better puller between Jay and I, and Jay is, in Me. fact, a better puller. Although so. I've just opened a lot more. Every time we forget, it's like, I think it's your turn. Yeah, it's, it's almost always. It's always me that we think is next. So. Yeah. So we got the Bell Sprout, the Horsey, the Nidorin, the Abra, the Rapidash, the Nidorina, the Raticate, the Weeping Bell will score, the Bills transfer will Will not the gear Oh, so. Data Rage, just three points. I am actually I'm playing against Data Rage in our fantasy football league. Uh, so I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a little happy that the numbers are <laughs> on her side right now because she has been destroying people. Yes, Data Rage is a force to be reckoned with. Don't, don't. It, don't enter somebody into your fantasy football league who has data in their nickname. Pro tip. Yeah. 
<laughs> but I am presently favored to win, so we'll see. We're also kidding, Dato. Thank you for your support. Yes, thank you for your support. Also, by the time you see this, that match will have happened several weeks ago, so it doesn't really matter. That's a good point. Yeah. Um, ba -ba -da -ba. Next up we have Shauna! Shauna did let's 19 see. points last season, Man, so let's metal, see. Metal Energy. Energy got the Chew, the Farfetch, Shelder, Helix, Rigid, Nidorino, Exeggutor will score, Geodude will not, Bubble, and I said Bubble instead of Polywag, Machamp! So just, just two, a two points. point pack. Another huh. near contender for last place there. There we go. But we know the Machamp wouldn't have done it. We really need that. that was a lonely Ooh, Mr. Mime with no multipliers. We really do. All right, next up it's another power couple. It's Stefan and Susie. All right, Stefan and Susie. I can only imagine you guys are, are having a nice, quiet Friday night uh, in. Stefan and Susie, I would just want. I look, I, thank you so much for your support. I think they need a, they need a pack here because they have gone. In their past few seasons, six, four, nine, eight, and two. Okay, well, this so. is a good start. Oh, we're off to a great start! <laughs> First of all, it's they got the four times multiplier. It is about time. Maybe they'll get a critical hit on Lickitung. Oh, we, got, we got the Venonat, the Pidgey, the, the Metapod. Metapod. Here we go, so let's the do it. Omnite, the Tauros, the Kadabra, the Raticate will not score. The, the Victory, Victory Bell, Bell will score. And, and the, the Vaporeon. Vaporeon. Okay, so all right. Just a four pointer times four, though, is 16. 16. There so. we go, right? Yeah, nothing crazy there. 16 points. That's their, that's their best. Best pack ever. Oh my gosh. Well, well congratulations. Done, Susie. I mean, that's their best finish ever on a single pack. So, yes. like, season total and, and, and single, single pack, pack ever. So, a couple of PRs in the same, it's personal records in the same, uh, in the same. Well, you guys can argue over pack. who gets the grass energy. That's right. Well done to you guys. Keep it up. Prospects are high. All right, next up is Carly. Here we go. Coming off, did, did Carly win last season? My gosh. Carly had the eight times multiplier. Eight times multiplier so. and 97 points. Was that the win? That might be the win. I think it was, because it was that eight times multiplier that did it. All right, well, let's see if our defending champion then uh, can uh, bust out something crazy, but people will say it's rigged. It's not. Here we go. Okay, Nothing too crazy energy. off the top. Okay. Yeah. Slowpoke, Magmar, Horsey, Abra, Graveler, Arcanine, Kingler, the War Turtle. Oh! Oh. And it's a critical hit. Is it? <laughs> on the energy. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're right. What is going on, Carly? How'd you do that? <laughs> Dude, I, I was like, wait a second, how does it work? Okay, 207 on the set. Let's see, so $9.65 for the um, for the eyeball energy, the gold so eyeball energy. 10? Yep, 10, and then 11, 11, 12. 12 times two is 24, 24. points. 24! Which bumps Steven into ninth place, which now means who's ever holding the Big Steve so Award. So now everybody hold. Now everybody hold. This is what we wanted. Dude, Carly's so good at this game. What's Carly is, is, is it's, yeah, yeah, this is a bit unreal. Because it, in, the, the thing is, the thing is, in order to have gotten the eight times multiplier, this is what had to happen last season. I would like to see the flashback, because what I'm most curious about is whether or not it happened with Eyeball Energy last time too. Well, it couldn't have because it wouldn't have been gold. Um, oh, you're right. You're yeah. right. It couldn't have been. Okay, okay. I was like, what if there's like a weird like affinity with the eyeball energy? Oh my gosh. She's like actual psychic. That'd be crazy. Well, there you go. Well done to Carly, who is crushing it with the multipliers. Her strategy is now known to the field, though. Can they contend it? All right. Next up is Aaron B. All right, Aaron <coughs> B. Critical hit on the energy. Wild. <laughs> I'm glad you caught it. I feel like I would have just like skated yeah. right on by, but no, That's you're insane. absolutely right. We got the dark teardrop, we got the polywag, the ponytail, the Pikachu, the Farfetch, the Ivasaur, the Slowbro, the Machoke, the Rhyhorn will not, the Bell Sprout will, and the Flareon yeah, will get you a final three point there. So point three pack. For Aaron B. Well, well done, Aaron B. Enjoy that beautiful, beautiful Flareon as ever. That is my my original uh, Kanto region evolution of choice. There we go. We got two packs left. Then we got Tina Dodge up here. Let's see what's Tina got for us. She's been slowly increasing her score from a six to seven, and now uh, maybe maybe eight. Dip, dive, duck, dodge, and Tina. Nice. Diglett, the, the Bulbasaur, Bulbasaur. Score, the Dratini, the Snorlax, the Sandslash, the Haunter, Electabuzz. Oh, Critical Hit on Dratini? Yes! Critical Hit on Dratini! And the Dodrio! So it's going to just be a four point pack, but four either point way, point pack, exciting yeah. to get the Critical Hit. Very exciting indeed. I, I swear, I feel like the uh, they are maintaining this Dragon type 
specifically for Dratini and uh, yeah, this is like one in every set. <laughs> yeah, it's it's just like because there's there's literally so few of them always, and they're always just Dratini and Dragonair. Yeah. There we go. All right, final pack of the day. It's Abby Mondin. All right, Abby. Here we go. Let's see. They've been very consistent the past few seasons. When they first joined us, they got 26 points. Since then, it has been 8655. Five. All right, well, let's see what we got. We got the Metal Energy. We got the Grimer. The we got Weedle. the Weedle, the Zubat, the Goldine, the Lapras, the Cycling Rose, the, the Scyther. Scyther, the Geodude will not oh! Oh, there we go, another golden energy and the Dodrio. Dodrio. No Man. critical hit this time, sadly. I know, but so so still I believe 10 points for the for the eyeball energy there. 965 for the basic psychic energy. So that's 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 points. Well, there we go. What an exciting day of opening packs. Double gold psychic energy, four Mu EXs, and Big Steve is sitting in ninth. Man. Meaning whoever is directly in front of him. Goddess Princess is now the, at the moment, the holder of both Quality 8th Place and the Big Steve Award. That is crazy. So Goddess Princess is just hoping the next round is terrible. Yes, and I feel like Goddess Princess has been such a character in this season yeah. so far. Because I think when Goddess Princess originally came on the scene, uh, they, were they, were, they were in first. It yeah. was Goddess Princess champion, and then Becky Borst came in and kind of reigned on that parade. Mm -hmm. and but then Big it. Steve came in right under Goddess Princess. I know, yeah. Got so, her right back in the game. Right back in the game. So, yeah. I mean, so many things have happened for Goddess Princess I know. On, this, on this story. At so the far. moment, she's sitting on two, but it, even if she gets bumped down if someone else beats her, she'll still be in the Big Steve spot at the moment. At the moment. Someone has to land at 21 or 22 points to bump her out of that spot. So we're, we're just gonna have to, we're gonna have to keep an eye on uh, on the scoreboard, which of course is not updated for us live as we go. So there's a, it's always subject to changes and stuff like that. But yeah. very exciting day. I feel like in the wake of last week's episode, I was like, man, we did not have amazing pull rates, which we have We have ordered our, our uh, elite trainer boxes from a variety of different sources. Each episode is getting um, boxes from different boxes. Yeah. So there's a good spread, like you're not getting like from one factory line where, where something could be working against you. So it is like, I feel like this season is like one of the best possible in terms of like, what odds are, are yeah. being thrown at the table for you. So anyway, guys, as ever, if you would like to sign up to get a pack in a future episode of Box Breakers, which will start with season eight in the month of November, you can do so by heading over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming, selecting any of the Box Breakers tiers. But otherwise, until next time, Hariyama! Hariyama!